Some new projections from real estate website Zillow really got our attention. That's because they've been crunching numbers on what's projected to happen with sea level rise. Now, Zillow predicts astounding losses in our region based on U.S. government climate data. And that's where Scott Broom is going to step in for us from Annapolis, Maryland. So Zillow is all about real estate values. They don't have any particular ax to grind when it comes to climate change politics. They're just about dollars and cents, which is why their projections got our attention. Based on U.S. climate science data, rising sea levels will sink as many as 61,000 homes in the next 80 years here in Maryland. The cost about $19 billion. In Virginia, it's 44,000 homes, at least 14 billion in losses. If the oceans rise six feet, which Zillow reports is a conservative assessment, will it be your house? The National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration has a very cool interactive map that allows you to see at street level Alexandria not looking so good in the age of sea level rise. Ocean City, Maryland, the projections are particularly grim. A lot of people don't believe it, but not here in Annapolis. Believe it. Yeah, just working down here. I've been seeing these tides getting higher. I work at Armadillo's here. I see with the water coming up into the front door. And a lot of times the water is just above the curb and people just can't even get in there. Lisa Craig is in charge of historic preservation here. About uh, 50 years ago, we were getting about 3.8 days of flooding uh, a year. We are now upwards of 40 plus days of flooding. So far, real estate values in places like Annapolis are holding, indicating that people are not ready to embrace Zillow's sea level rise real estate projections just yet. In Annapolis, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. The National Oceanography at NOAA, NOAA is what we'll call it. They project sea level will rise anywhere from three and a half to six feet by the year 2100. Still